Hi friends, this is E, the Empty Nester. Today um, I'm starting a series. This is the first one and how, you know, things work or what happens. You know, a little bit of a, taking a scientific approach and um, terminology and turning it into plain English so everyone can understand. I'm going to be talking about um, how the adverse effects of invasive honeysuckle here in my state of Missouri and showing you three different varieties. The first one will be the Asian honeysuckle bush that'll just start out at the base of a tree somewhere in your garden or in the woodland over there, the green on the ground. The second type will be the Japanese honeysuckle that runs and runners and climbs up vegetation. It looks like ground cover or it looks like something that's engulfing a tree. The third honeysuckle will be the native Missouri honeysuckle. It grows along fence lines. We're all guilty of um, going to the supplier, the um, plant shop, and seeing something really unique or finding something online that we really want to try in our garden. And sometimes those things escape. In the late 18, early 1900s, someone um, decided to import the um, Asian um, honeysuckle bush and um, the Japanese honeysuckle vine and they've been escaped into our environments, taking over a lot of the woodlands and the um, forests here in the state of Missouri. And if you look up Missouri invasive species, um, the Japanese honeysuckle vine is number two and number one is the Asian honeysuckle bush. And what they do is, um, it's a, today's word of the day is aliopathy. And that is where one item, one plant, one tree takes and um, destroys everything surrounding it. With the um, honeysuckle bush, it takes and puts out a chemical in its roots that poisons the ground around it to where a lot of other um, plants can't survive. Let me go ahead and show you around my property and I'll show you some of the adverse effects that both the um, bush and the vine have done to my property. And I'll also show you the third honeysuckle that's in my yard, which is the Missouri native. And um, it's more of like a trumpet vine and it, um, really doesn't do a lot of damage compared to the other two. We'll start back here, right here in um, the background. When we first moved into this house, we didn't have really anything but grass and trees. And out of nowhere, these honeysuckle bush um, appeared, and I thought, wow, a touch of home because my other home and St. Louis had these bushes surrounding the property. I had oaks and honeysuckle bushes um, almost 600 feet down each side and three, or, three to 400 feet down the front and the back. I had my own private little wonderland going on there. And um, seeing them come here, I was really happy and let these guys grow. And I had no clue that um, by doing this, um, I was going to help populate the rest of the um, area. But they came from the area to begin with. It's just by letting them stay here, um, they went ahead and now, um, sorry about the distance, if you come over here, they're taking over the woodlands on this side of my property along with the invasive um, blackberry bush. The blackberry bush started in that area right there and it's walking its way across the property by runners. And I'll show you a close up of that in a minute. And then um, the vine honeysuckle is actually choking out or trying to choke 
this is the vine honeysuckle and this is a blackberry right here also see how all three of the um what do you call it um is invasive invasive species are all right here in one spot um the vine itself will grab onto a plant and choke it if you come over here here's another um blackberry vine or bush you know they run underground by runners and then um also the birds eat the seeds and repopulate all the um what do you call it blackberries and the vine um japanese vine can be repopulated by seeds here's another japanese vine right here and it's see how it's swallowing this little bitty tree seedling if you come over here and look at this one this tree right here is let's say 15 feet tall and this Japanese vine has been choking it for quite some time see how the tree is kind of winning but I don't know how long it'll win but it's left permanent marks you see how the vine is incorporated into the tree here and became part of the tree the tree will forever have those marks unless it can grow over and heal and then um what do you call it what's there's good benefits and bad benefits about this plant it's the first plant to show green in the springtime and it'll start flowering soon and that'll provide um nectar for the hummingbirds and also pollen for the bees and then um the fruit in fall is a uh, high carb rather than a high protein um, diet. So a lot of the birds that normally eat berries, they're um, not gonna have as much protein in their diet. It's kind of like eating cake versus a balanced meal. So the um, high carb diet kind of affects their weight gain a little bit. There's 20 species of birds that will feed off of the honeysuckle, bush, and vine. And then if you look over here, if you can see the white flowers in that area, that's a plumette tree. And it's kind of like the size of a um, Bing cherry. And it's really sweet. All the white flowers that you see over there are the tree trying to survive. And then all the greenery you see around it is the honeysuckle vine. And it's choking it to death. I kind of thought we lost it like over here. There was a stand of um, honey, palmette trees and the honeysuckle vine engulfed them and there's nothing left. And then some of the honeysuckle bush are coming out on the side here too. If you look down, whoops, let me go back. Right there, the furthest one out is the honeysuckle bush. So two of the invasive species are competing to um, completely choke this area out. And then a tree right here springed up out of nowhere. I'm not quite sure what it is, but if you see all the green growth up in there, that's the honeysuckle vine, you know, making its way up to finish off this tree. Over here, you'll see on the side of my property, all, a lot of devastation. All the greenery that you see there is the honeysuckle vine and the honeysuckle bush. And then all the brown stuff that you see over here is the blackberries, which is invasive also. It's, um, and the white sticks, I'm not quite sure what that is, but I've been fighting it for a while. It comes up and takes over also, but see the pine tree right there? All the bottom branches there are dead and the top of it is all that's alive. 
the next few trees that were in front of it have broke down and they're falling they've fallen onto the first tree and then this plant lets um, somehow poison ivy poison oak and creeping Virginia can tolerate the um, poisons that they put in the ground and survive and um, thrive on the trees too and they help suffocate a lot of the trees and kill them to where um, the honeysuckle will be pretty much you know the border here in the next 10 years here's a more of a close-up of what the plumet tree blossoms look like and the plumet tree is suffocating and it's almost like hands sticking out of the bush saying help save me and I have to physically um, if it weren't illegal I would bring in um, our pigs or borrow someone's um, goat and have them you know eat the vine down see all you do is pull out a little and then all the runners are still left in the ground for weeks you have to maintain suffocation to get rid of this plant if you come over and let me take you and show you inside here I forgot to you know look how thick it is in there it's layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of um, dead or not really dead you know because you can't snap them that good it's somewhat decomposing <laughs> you know brush here let me bring you over this way on the other side of this bush and you'll see the Missouri honeysuckle it's on the fence line right here and it's um, what do you call it really not considered invasive even though you can see it going by runners all the way up the fence line there it's a heavier wooded stock and the leaves are different we're let's see that's see how the leaves come in together as three on this and then the leaves are single branching off of this this one right here is the Missouri honeysuckle. Oops, let me. Okay, that's the Missouri honeysuckle. And this is the Japanese honeysuckle. They're kind of competing with each other right here. Missouri and Japanese. Here's a better example. The Japanese, see how the leaves coming off the stem? The Missouri, the leaves bunch up. And this has more of an orange trumpet vine look. They start out in one area and then spread to the whole neighborhood. Every tree, every bush has one surrounding it all the way around the property. And then at the fence line over there, you'll see more of the Missouri honeysuckle bush, or vine, I should say. I'll go ahead and close for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video and think twice before bringing an invasive species into your yard.
Have a good day.